Good afternoon everyone, I hope you are well and I am back with day 85 of the 100 day project and it's inspired by a inspired by a colour combo of periwinkle, coral and neutral and that was from number 37 um hmm. ma me um yeah inspired by a color combo of periwinkle coral and neutral so of course i spent the morning and yesterday um putting together um some papers now i looked up periwinkle and coral of course i know what they are but um this is kind of to me periwinkle um this is not really coral it turned out a bit printed out a bit more purpley but i tried to find birds and things so natural neutral um this uh, lace i um i changed the color um i changed the color of one of my antique letters i sort of picked out all these sorts of images i changed the color of that um that sort of went i've just printed it out twice so this is um on regular paper and that's on cardstock you'll see a difference in color just because one i printed um on the hp and the other one um on the epson so i've just i changed the color of that paper that was an end paper i think i found it on the british library um and then these are wall papers they're not exactly periwinkle it was very hard that one's not so much that's a bit more tealy and navy However, they do work in, I think. This is a bit more periwinkle, I think. Um, this looked a bit more coral. I changed the colour a little bit in the computer, but um, it's printed out a bit sort of pinky ready um, sort of colour. This was more coral, but it's sort of a pale beige, which is fine because it goes with the neutral. Um, this one was from the New York Public Library, and I changed the colour of it. So it's like corally pink, and then um, I tried to make periwinkle, but not quite. Um... And then I did a few of these pages as per usual, some um, end papers. That's one of my um, hand marbled papers, um, my antique letter there. I've done some, P you know, um, PNGs and that sort of stuff. And then also these I thought would work well into um, the project. So that's the that paper there behind and one of my antique books and this sort of... Um, change the color that was sort of like a gray uh, you know like a monotone and I make I changed the color of it and then one of my doilies and and then that's the other page that I created so you know I can't help myself I just have to muck around it's it's all in the in the aim of procrastinating and, and not getting started is is to do that now then I wanted to show you here this was the one I did yesterday from for Gail's project I did add, I don't know if I added the label in the project or not but I did in the end so that's that one I also went ahead and made another one because I couldn't help myself I had a smaller envelope and I wanted to show you because I did a variation so this one opened out like that I used two different papers so this was cut one piece of paper this was two different papers it wasn't very hard to measure um, inside is fairly simple I just left that like that because I thought you could write there and then that's a pocket and then this one flips up as per what Gail did um, but the back I tucked in I tucked in the flap and I also um, I actually um, very carefully opened it trimmed off the excess there tucked that glued that in opened it um, so I could glue that paper in easier and then I re-glued it back down with the flaps over on the outside um, and then put a paper and a pretty butterfly so I thought that could be a flip or a floating sort of pocket sort of thing. I really like these are really amazing, Gail. I really love those. I need to make some more. And then one last thing I wanted to show you before I get started um, was I did this with the butterfly inspired by butterflies, if you remember. Um, I just made up the ephemera to go in the pockets. So there's that one, and then that flips down. I didn't put any acetate pockets there, but I could. And then I just made some quick tags to go in the pockets so there's that one and then here I didn't I don't think I did anything particularly special just used what was in the kit so that's those there so it's just a bit of fun and put labels on some of them as well so that is that so that's those 
Now I have a big box exploding of stuff from all the stuff that I've made, um, which is great, um, but I'm not using it yet. Now, uh, um, here we go. I'm going, I didn't know what to do today for this project, but then I decided that I might make um, one of those um, expanding folder things. I haven't made those before on um, video. So what I need to do, I've mucked around with one before with cardstock. So what I need to do is, and I stuck that on the wrong way. I need to, I need to maybe have four envelopes would work better. So we've got do, any size envelope will do. You don't need to have particularly um, anything particular, you know, like any size, any size will do, any size will make it. So what I'm gonna do first is, and I hope I don't make a, a boo-boo, is glue down these. I hope everybody's well. It's, oh my God. It's a stinker today. It's really a stinker. It's a, and I don't mean a stinker as in smell. It's a stinker as in it's a stinking hot day. That's what we say in Australia. It's a stinker. Um, and we don't mean smell. So uh, <laughs> Lulu and I decided to go and have breakfast at the beach this morning. And so we left home at 8 o'clock. It was already 29 degrees Celsius. I'll have you know. Um, so it was very hot. There were lots of people. There were some... Lulu was eavesdropping some of the people around us. And some one man had been there since 5 o'clock in the morning. His place must be piping hot and he just couldn't sleep. And so he came down to the beach. Um, and so we had a walk in the water. There were quite a lot of um, jelly blubbers today. Uh, so... We didn't really, we didn't, we didn't know whether they were the stinging kind or just the blubbery kind. So we sort of just had a quick dip and hopped out because we weren't sure. Although they do say, if I'm not wrong, um, that when there are jelly blubbers around, um, that the water's quite clean. So I don't know if that's true or just a myth. Um, so yeah, but it was nice. It was hot. It was already hot at 8.30 in the morning, but it was nice. So it was a nice way to start the day. Then we came home and then um, had our showers and then I went off to the supermarket. There were quite a lot of people there. I think they're letting everybody in now. It was quite crowded. Um, I did try and keep my distance from everyone because we're supposed to keep our social distance. Um, but yeah, so that was good. So I got my shopping done, mucked around with this, and now here I am. So now the reason I printed on the cardstock, I printed these on cardstock. Okay, I know that's not going to be covered, but I want to put um, possibly something like that on the front. So yeah, I wanted to maybe use them on the front, on the front and back. So I need to get my big cutter and just trim off my borders quickly. I should have done that before I turned on the video, but you know, I never do it. I'm never organized. I never do things before I turn the camera on. I do it all on camera. That's why I keep you here all day, listening to whatever comes out of my mouth. Okay, so. Just turn this off and then I'll have to check because you know what? Sometimes the printer does not take in the paper straight and so um, see the borders that don't match up they should match up because it's a fit to page and it would in theory leave the same border around it but no it doesn't take the paper in straight so then you get a border where you don't want it okay so I've trimmed that one and I, I obviously don't need both of them but I printed two because you know we need options we do need options okay that one's okay that one obviously went in straight so i'd keep that near i might need it again i might need it again i might not so i don't know i think the first thing i'm going to do just love these I might use this one. This one fits better, I think, as, as far as the size. Now, I think I kind of want it to be... I'm going to cut it very slightly bigger. So what I'm going to do is... 
see I'm just leaving a few mils very very little I don't have my other ruler in here so I'll just have to do it I'll just have to wing it so I'm going to do that there and that there those are my markings and when I've cut this one then I can cut my other one marking and that marking hopefully I haven't made a boo-boo oh good isn't that pretty so that's going to go on the front of that now the first thing I'm going to do is round my edges because I like them with rounded edges why am I turning you upside down I don't know so we'll snip off the edges. And I don't think I'll stick this on until after I've, I've constructed all. So that's going to go there. And see, I know it's mostly covered, but um, you would be able to see a little bit of it. But I might, I actually might put that closer down there. So you can see a little bit more at the top. And then I'll show you how I'm going to um, close it. That's good. Right, so that'll be that one. So this is my, my. Um, I'll have to use my other paper because I've, look, it, that's just already a tag. That's just lovely. So we'll use this one. And I might use, I think I might cut the flower out. So I'm going to sort of position it there. So I know I need to position it up a bit higher. Let's have a look yes so I need to put a few markings here I need a marking here here and here let's see if that works if not I'll have to pause the video and go and print out some more so that's that one off you go oh look at that lovely and then this one that off probably won't use that and then this one oh isn't that nice I like that and there we have it so let's see if they are more or less the same size yes oh look at that there they are okay so I'm going to what jovial colors oh this would mix in well with the um summertime i mean they all mix in well don't they because they're a similar style but they'll um, mix in well with the summertime one as well and the purple kit i think too so i didn't quite get coral right but anyway and i don't probably didn't get the blue right but there's not going to be any color police out there i hope today um oh yes just admiring it okay now oh, i'm just pre i'm just trying putting off the the building of the thing Okay, right, so we're going to have that. It's going to be attached to this. And that's going to be attached to this. And then I think I need to attach. Is that what you do? Attach that. And, no, that doesn't work. So, no, it doesn't matter how many you have. You still get them. They, okay, so I'm only going to do three. Okay, so they're all going to attach. We don't need four. And that's what it's going to look like. Super pretty. I'm very happy with that. Okay, right. And then, so obviously you're thinking, what do you need all those papers for? Well, you don't really. Well, if you're really pedantic, you could, um, like, open these and cover everything. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. Nope. Oh, that one's upside down. That's not very clever. So we need to. Okay, so first of all, I need to have, they're all, oh, Okay, so that's got to attach to the one side. And so I need to attach this one to this one. And I, I was given this in um, one of my Happy Mouse. Oh, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it come out? Is there a block in there? Maybe there's a block in there. It should work. I just filled it. Well, that's going to be a bit of a blow, isn't it? It 
should come out. Mm, interesting. So this was given to me in um, in my um, oh here we go. Well, that's very small. I thought more would come out. Well, that's not going to do it for me. Right. Well, do you know what we'll do? Put that in there. That's for very fine work. Very fine work. We'll put that over there. It was handy because it had a hand. Oh, <laughs> don't just ignore me. I didn't say that on purpose. It just came out and then I realised what I said. We're just going to use this. I've got a little paintbrush here. I'm going to put some glue here. Kind of in the centre. I think this is what you do. Right. And that's going to line this up with this one. And that will be this one. Right. See, that's what's going to happen. Now I'm going to put my glue on this one. Because if I put it on here, my glue will go all the way up to there and glue it shut. So, yeah, that's just like would be the typical mistake that I would make. So I'm going to be careful of that. And I'm using quite nice, um, you know, the quite nice parchment sort of, um, what are they called, envelopes. So that way you don't mind that I can see them. As I said, you could really cover them all up. But um, I don't think it's necessary. So that's like that. So you get all the three pockets. One, two, three pockets. So then we've got to attach our um, exteriors. Super simple. Um, and we need to be mindful um, of which way is the up so this don't now I know I don't have a big brush here the other brush is in the kitchen so would you just have to bear with me while I glue this with this little teeny, like little teeny tiny paintbrush here because you know can't think about it before it happens got to think about it while it's happening not before but while whilst while, wise, whilst, wise. Yes. Heat. Let's just blame it on the heat. It's getting to my head. Going to my brain. Rightio. Okay. So that's going to glue to this one. And I was going to have... I'm going to actually line up the bottom... And you'll see why in a minute. I'm not going to exactly have the bottom. Like, you could center it, but I don't want to. I want that to overhang, is what I want. I'm just going to maybe grab, if I can find, oh, there it is. I did tidy up my table yesterday. That was on my list to do. Now, for those of you who thought I would fall off the wagon sooner, um, regarding Natasha from Treasure Books, amazing um, system of writing down your list every day I haven't fallen off the wagon I'm still writing my list every day uh, well I haven't written today's because I wrote it last night and I haven't added to it because I think I pretty much wrote everything I haven't crossed anything off yet um, but sometimes I just um, I might even do I might not get everything done that's written on the list, but I might do something else that's not on the list. And then I write, I will write it on the list and so I can cross it off. So it just gives you a sense of achievement and you can see actually what did you get done in the day. Because you might feel like you didn't do very much, but in actual fact you did quite a bit. You just didn't do what you're supposed to do, which is, can happen. So yeah, I can fall off the wagon in that sense. I quite often... Well, no, I have been pretty much following my list. I've been pretty good about that. I think I've got a bit of chocolate on my arm. If you're wondering what the brown is, it's chocolate. Yep. 
<laughs> I ate some chocolate before. <laughs> and I've got brown on my arm. <laughs> Oh, no, I think it looks a bit more, more bodgy than your birthmark. Oh. <laughs> okay, see, there you go. I like that. I like the colours. Very nice. I think that's more of a corally sort of pink there. But, you know, then your yellows and your orangey yellows and things like that can come into it as well, can't they? Well, I think they can. Okay, so we'll let that dry a minute. I mean, that is pretty much done. Now, the one thing, other thing I want to do is I'm going to put a little... Oh, no, that's not long enough. I hope I've got some piece of fabric that's long enough. Well, that would be long enough. I could rip that. Let's see if I can rip that. I'm going to... Um, tea dye the embroidery part of it so let's have a look here there's a bit of a mark on there don't know about that I was just going to put a piece of fabric there do I have any others otherwise I have to get up or well just a minute I could put a piece of this this could be nice as well that's long enough. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that. No, I think I like the fabric more. There we go. So I will do the fabric. I just need to trim. I'm going to trim it. Oh, well, I tried to tear it. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, yes, I can. Bit of a naysayer, aren't I? There we go. I got rid of the, the mark. Now that will just be a little bit there because we don't want to cover up. And I'm going to keep the bits where the stitching is. Trim that off. So I'm just going to put a little line of glue along there. Now, if anybody knows any tricks why the glue is not coming out of that um, little thin tipped one um, it's my first time using one so please forgive me but I don't know why I can't get the glue out was that just is that normal so I'm pulling threads and now I've, I've pulled it off you see look at that okay Okay, so that is that will glue down nicely there. I'm not going to stitch it or anything. There's no stitching involved, and that is that. Let's just trim some of these threads off. Okay, so now I've got that glue all over that one. I'll have, I hope it doesn't dry, go too hard by the time I go to wash it. So then, I could put that on the floor. I don't think I need it again. See, they, they, I mean, they stick pretty well. Look at that. You've got an instant. I mean, you could glue them a bit more if you want to. But I'm not going to. So you get a little ephemera holder. What do we think? So we might put, um, afterwards we'll put an eyelet in there. I think and then we can tie it shut yeah I think I'd like an eyelet and I'm just wondering here if I want to put anything else on there or oh, not those scissors I'll put those far away from me so I don't look at them again I might like this butterfly on here. 
I only put one butterfly in it. There's butterfly on the paper. So we'll just add a little bit to the cover. I think these are lovely, um, oh yeah, I really like that. Um, lovely Happy Mail things too. And did you see how quickly that came together? Probably take more time to fill it than um, actually make the little project. Put that there and then we'll, I mean, who knows which is the front? Who knows which is going to be the front? I don't know. I want to cut any, I don't think I want to cut any flowers out for that one. I think what I would like is a label. I'm going to say it. I would like a label. Could have that one. Oh, here's a corally coloured one. Oh, I think I'll put that one on. Considering we're doing coral, I think I'm going to put that one on. It's a bold, a bold decision. Okay. I might bring my garbage basket up here. That's a good idea. Okay, so that's that. That I mean, that was very quick. Quick little business there. And so now let's make a few things to go in here. I wonder what we want to put in there. What do we want to put in there? So these. I think I'll keep those. I mean, they, they could already be tags. It's only 160 GSM cardstock so it's not that heavy but I'll put those aside because I've got the papers here and what is this one that's just plain so that could be decorated why don't I decorate that one I'm just going to trim off a little bit of it because it's too long that should fit inside And I won't back it because it's got that nice, um, I have to decide whether I want that way or that way. I wonder if I could get that down small enough. going to be good. I'm going to put that there. These are all just printed. I think I said that on regular um, cardstock. Nothing nothing too fancy. And I'm just wondering, do I want anything else behind it? I don't think so. A bit of that one.
and then this will go in the center. And I'm just going to cut that into a tag shape, I think. And what was I thinking? I just love using these, really do. Oh, what about some fabric? Stamped fabric. That could also be nice. Well, just a minute before I glue this down. I quite like that there. And then just let me see, where's my stamped fabric? It's here, it was here. That's my ephemera pouches. Um, oh, there it is. I just couldn't see it. Here we go. I was just wondering if I might like something like that. Down there and put that up there. I think I need a bigger label. That's what it is, a bigger one. Oh, that'd be nice on there. Okay, so let's just glue the, I think I'll try and put the glue on my fabric so that way I don't, you know, over glue. Put that down there. I like that, like the colours. And then I wanted to see maybe, I may not do any, any of these. No, too much too much what's this one no so I won't do any of those I think I'll just leave it to that maybe a bit of lace no okay well that one I'm just going to consider that done and that will pop in here so you can just fill it up to your heart's content. I'm wondering if I might like just, yeah, I kind of like that just there. I know it's small, but I just like it. I like the colors, I think. And it's not overpowering. You sort of see it, but you don't. Okay, let's make something else. Well, this one is easy. This one just can be made into something. This is a pretty corally pink sort of flower. Oh, maybe I'd like to make it. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to be it. Okay, so I need a background, I think. Maybe I'll just have half of it. I'm going to glue this to the blue. onto the back because you can write on that so why don't I do that and then I'll just trim it down I'm 
Okay, so I'll just cut that out and then I'll grab my cutter. I hope it's big enough because I didn't even measure it. I only put one um, book page in there uh, because otherwise they, they, some, they do become quite thick. And I'm going to put that there. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty. So that will be a journaling card and I just want to see, do I want to, oh yes, I like it with the fabric. Let's see if I can rip it. I'm going to put a bit of fabric there. Let's see this. Well, that's something new. There we go. We'll put a little bit of lace on there. And I will stitch around this afterwards, but not now. I've got um, the sort of dark grey blue um, in my sewing machine, so that'll be good. And this one is not too tall, so this one could have like a whale tail or a tab or a piece of lace. Let's just see what we have here. Something... find a colour that will complement it. Oh yeah, that'll be good. That glue's finished, so we'll check that one in the bin. Okay, and I'll stitch around that one afterwards so that one will I need to put a bit more glue under there. We don't want that catching on anything. So you sort of get the idea. You can just fill it with things. And you can also just, well, this is, um, actually, I might just glue this to the book page. Why don't I do that? Because it's just on copy paper. Um, I'll glue it to the book page, put glue everywhere on the book page, and then I'll fussy cut it out. And you could just stick the bird in. Okay. So that way it's a little bit stronger. Very easy bird to cut out, just sort of can whiz around, not too many different difficult things to cut.
put any pointy bits off there. I'm still going to do around the head and then I've got to do this between the legs and it's done. So I'm just strengthening this because I was going to pop it in the pocket. Other, if I was going to be sticking it on something, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother. I'd just cut it out of the regular paper and then stick it down. But because I was going to put it in here, I didn't want it to be too flimsy. Slide that in there. Now another thing we could do, if I can find one, here we go is we could decorate a little um, glassine bag to slide in there. That would be nice. Maybe you have the centre of that. I really do like that. think I've got my I can use my other ruler just a minute here it is we'll just... tear that piece off I thought this um, these papers would be really nice to make those um, g Kerr fold out things that I made a couple of, I don't know how many videos ago. Um, they'd be great for that as well. And I am just going to, and I did change the colour a bit of this one as well, just to make it go um, more with the idea of this project. Yeah, that's going to be nice on there. But I was thinking what could also be nice behind it is cheesecloth. What I'm going to do, just a thin layer of it. I'm going to actually glue on here. cheesecloth and glue that down there and maybe I'll try and flatten it a bit with the card trim it off I wonder if these scissors will cut it I don't know glue this I've actually used my other glue so this glue is stronger a bit of white there we'll just snip that off and if you were to find it wasn't sticking so well you could always um you know add a bit of sort of wetter glue behind it afterwards 
and I might just trim this off just a little bit up here just because I don't want that annoying me when I'm putting things in the bag and I think I'll leave that I'll just take that bit off I'm just thinking if I want something else on there just to decorate it a little bit more and we could have this one or no the round one So we'll glue this one down. I think I'll put it up there. I don't think I want it down there. And then that can have things in it, like, you know, these sorts of things can be cut out and be put in there to be used. This doily was actually bigger than the scanner. That's why it sort of goes off a little bit. But um, yeah, it was quite, looks like it was small, but it wasn't, it was big. So you can put a few little embellishment things in there. in there I'll keep that bit out because it's I would have to trim it down to fit it in there um, what else do I have here yeah so that sort of gives you the idea of what to put in it Oh, we could put the, maybe the bird would fit in the glassine bag. That would be good, wouldn't it? Put the little bird in there. Have his little tail sticking out. There we go, that's better. And that can go in there. So you could put a little mini journal in there to fill it with tags, um, that sort of thing. Now, we need to do the eyelets. Excuse my arm coming across. So let me see, I might just put a dot. I'm not going to measure it. There. Yep, that looks about right to me. I need my big one and that will go in there. Okay, and then I think we'll have we have glue or well maybe blue, but it's a different type. Maybe the pale blue will be more forgiving. Let's have a look. Yeah, pale blue because it's not. I don't have periwinkle, so we'll just have to use the pale blue. But I think it goes. And I've got to get this and go and squish it in. I love this machine. So 
So I recommend um, when, you know, because you're, you're not, oops, you're not stitching around it, um, make sure you glue, obviously, these bits on very well. Okay, and then I'll just put some um, baker's twine or, or something in there and then it will tie shut. Oh dear, it's coming hard, like what, what to make. As I keep saying, it really is becoming harder and harder every day, but you, I'll just have to do a bit of research and see what I can come up with each time. But I had nearly forgotten about this. Oh, another thing you could put in, uh, you know, a few tickets, that sort of thing. Got some bright pink ones here. Not exactly coral, but they do look nice with these. So you could fill it with all kinds of things and send it all off to someone. I think that's really, really fun. And of course, I did not invent this. I haven't watched a tutorial how to make them. I'm sure there's a better way. But um, oh, isn't that? I like that with the with the um, cheesecloth underneath. It looks really nice in there. Um, I certainly didn't invent this, but I haven't seen, I haven't watched any videos how to make them. I know my sister made one. She made a different one, and then, but she also made one like this, but she um, didn't show how she made this one. Um, yeah, so they're super fun, super useful things to make. Like, I mean, you don't even have to send it to someone. You could say, you could just write here and have a whole lot of them and put all your bits and pieces in there. And that could be a way to store them, a pretty way to store them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed putting together the um, sort of colours for the the periwinkle. Well, they're not exactly periwinkle, but, you know, it was quite hard to do that. I tried my best. Um, I'm going to make those into tags. They're pretty, those. Um, or, or tuck spots. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Bye.